Welcome to episode 103 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Play of the World. As you remember, we have been fighting back against the Germans, and we will continue to do so in this video. Now, our first and primary goal is to clear all German troops out of our territory. Now it's going to be very... that's not going to be too hard actually. We have enough tanks to do it and probably some to spare. Of course it's going to not be easy. We're going to lose a lot of people in the process but it will be accomplished. Now what's hard about it is after that we're going to have to defend against further German attacks. And that's not going to be easy. Because you see, there is a large open frontier between German territory and our territory. It comprises of what used to be parts of Korean and Celtic territory, and has incomplete roads and railroads in it and everything. Very much a open an open wasteland. Now we're going to have to um, cross that to get to them and they're going to have to cross that to get to us and it's sort of a mutual blindness. Neither of us can really see where the other is coming from. But we're going to have to do it if we want to be successful in pushing forward. So we're continuing our assault here. So you can see, they're, we're just littered with German troops everywhere. But that's okay, we can get rid of them. Or at least we're going to try. But I think our rate of success is pretty high. All right. Well, that army is up on a hill. That's definitely going to make it harder to kill. But still doesn't mean we're not going to try. Because we have to. We have to get all these guys out of here. We can't let any of them survive. All right. A lot of outdated riflemen in this army for some reason. But that just makes them easier to kill. And fortunately, a lot of my tanks have enough sense to retreat. And they will be repaired and will join us in future invasions. Well, I should say future episodes of this invasion. Alright, here we go. And get him. And yes, the army is finally brought down. So now I'm going to bring him around here to get rid of him. Alright, good. Now my automate mode comes and Seems kind of useless to be bombing the Chinese right now, but it's still something we want to do. You know, I honestly did think about making peace with the Chinese and the Celts and just concentrating on the Germans, but there's so little left of them that I figured, why not go all out? Because they're not going to have any going to be any good to us anyway, and it still makes diplomatic victory possible if we can eliminate both of them. It's kind of ironic, making diplomatic victory possible by annihilating two opposing nations, but in this case, it's exactly what would have to be done. Alright, anyway, back to the Germans, our main event in this war. 
as of as of last episode. All right, we're going to attack him and watch what happens here. Yes, we have a a glorious tank I call Tank of Wonder because he has won this battle and we have a great leader. Now, as I probably stated before in a different episode, you can either rush production or build an army. Well, we already have the ability to build armies with our military academy, and there's really nothing to rush right now. So I'm just going to have him hang tight. Because eventually there will be a great wonder along, or what might be better yet, the Forbidden Palace. But I don't want to worry about that now. Let's get rid of these guys. Alright, so waking up tanks in these cities. And now to clear out these Chinese guys with the settlers who foolishly think that it's a good idea to build their cities in those spots over there. Well, that just means more workers for us. There's no complaining about that. Alright, we'll just send them out to have them automate later. A lot of pollution around that area. But that's okay. Anyway, time to take out more tanks for some more assaults. Alright. Those tanks are still healing from a previous attack. But I think now is time to get rid of that little tank there. And for some reason, I decided to keep going right ahead and take out that guy protecting that tower. See, victory over the Celts is still something that we can accomplish, even in this war with the Germans. Of course, it all depends on how the actual fighting with the Germans goes. <coughs> now, this group of people right here is a major problem. I probably showed you how many units were stacked. Many infantrymen, artillery, and uh, marines. This group needs to be taken out, or else it's probably going to burn down Lahore too. So we're doing what we're what we can to weaken and eventually annihilate the group. Besides, if we take down that group, we will receive all of those artillery as war booty. Well, not exactly sure that's war booty, but captured military equipment, I guess. Which is always a good thing. So continuing our attack and the fact that they're in a forest does not make things easier for us as you might imagine and I don't want to take all my forces out of those cities because well I want them to be protected against the inevitable German advances against us Alright. Looks good. Now I'm going to use... This is probably the first time you've seen me use a bomber defensively. But you can bomb enemy units within your own territory. Which is exactly what I'm doing to weaken them up for my attack. Yes, bombers are not always used defensively. Alright. Worry about that battleship later. Well, that's a second video, which is entirely within this turn, and I foresee at least one more that's entirely or mostly in this turn. So, that's the end of this episode. I hope to see you again on episode 104. Hope you enjoyed it. So long, folks.